Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently I have uploaded many videos on GitHub Copilot and how we also saw that how this particular extension is giving us some amazing suggestions related to code and all. Let it be with respect to data structures, Python, EDA, machine learning pipelines, many things as such. But today, uh, a recent post that has come and this is related to the privacy concerns uh, with respect to GitHub Copilot. Because uh, today, today only, if you go and see this particular website here, it has shown that GitHub Copilot AI is generating and giving out functional API keys. Okay, and this is really a privacy issue. Okay, and uh, this issue was also acknowledged by the GitHub CEO and the team is working on solving the issue. So let's understand what this issue was really about. You know, and uh, everybody, just for starters, if you don't know what GitHub Copilot is, it is an assistant that can help you with better code suggestion but it has recently brought to notice that ai is leaking api keys that are valid and still functional now why this may be a problem because with this help of api's keys you know you will be able to access the company databases uh, companies apis different different functionalities and all so over here you can see that uh, it was first reported by a SendGrid engineer. He asked the API a AI for the keys and it showed them. And if you're wondering the big deal here, the API keys are critical as they provide access to all your apps databases. Now this is such a serious concern, but again, uh, the GitHub CEO has uh, seen this particular thing and uh, he has basically told that the company is working on this particular issue itself. Okay, and uh, here you can see a screenshot uh, that, uh, you know, the AI is emitting secrets over here. And one more post was related to this particular Twitter link, you know. Uh, over here you'll be able to see that, if I just reload this page, you'll be able to see that um, there was one code which is called as uh, inverse square root, okay. And remember this is a licensed i think this is a licensed uh, code itself you know because if you go and create any repositories in uh, github there you have an option to select the type of license right but uh, considering that here you could see that coa copyright 2015 redistribution and use in source and binary forms with or without modification you can see all the information regarding this particular code and this code was completely in a licensed version only, but uh, again, uh, the developer got this entire code itself. And apart from that, you could also see a lot of comments from where people are saying that here we have direct evidence of GitHub directly reproducing a GPLD chunk of code. So this is a code of a specific company, which is in the licensed version, providing that this is a really dangerous tool to use in commercial environments. Uh, but let's see how the things will go ahead. But uh, definitely one thing is that uh, with great power comes great responsibilities and sometimes with respect to AI also we can think that there will be some issues that may be coming up and probably as we go ahead these things will be getting fixed or probably be coming up but this is really a serious concern. Now if I just go to my GitHub and probably just open this in the form of the repositories and suppose if I am creating a new repository over here right. Suppose I am creating a new repository it will tell me to choose a license over here. And over here, if I say it is a general public license, general public license, if I select, then probably it should allow us to use the code, reuse the code or modify the code for our working purpose. Other than that, if you use this other kind of license, which is uh, very much important with respect to a company uh, where I think the usage restriction will be there. And even though you have that specific license and probably GitHub Copilot is referring you that particular thing, then I think that is a serious uh, issue related to uh, copyright infringement. So definitely this was the thing. But again, uh, over here you can see that the GitHub CEO has acknowledged this and they are probably fixing this particular issue and probably this kind of issues may come up because again, uh, this can be really handy tool with respect to implementing or doing the developer jobs as quick as possible. So I really wanted to just make a video on to make you understand about this because everybody is talking now about GitHub Copilot and how amazing it can be for a developer, right? It will help you to do the work. But yes, uh, this was it uh, from my side, uh, from, from my video. And uh, again, I'll give you the URL. You can have a look and uh, let me know about your thoughts and comments in the comment section of this particular video. So this is it from my side, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one doll. Bye-bye.